following clip contains spoilers. You've been warned. And then he lands again. Uh, and, and basically, they're they're in like essentially a war zone at this point when yeah. he lands in there. So he goes, and this, the SARS like, what the fuck are you doing here? Who is this guy? I don't know. I'm looking for Rick Dugan. Who? Rick Dugan! You got orders? No. Let me see your papers. Hey, um, you know, I can't really say who I am. Yeah. Keep playing is Dugan the, here? Yeah. yeah. Keep playing CIA card. And he's like, all right, why, no, why does no one tell me anything? Yeah. So he goes, hey, we got to get Dugan now. And they're like, hey, to the guy, Dugan. You it's know, on the radio. Yeah, you're wanted. Call Dugan in from the ambush post. Tell him he's got a visitor. What's your name, sir? Oh, just call him in. I kind of want to surprise him. <laughs> he gets on the radio, calls Dugan. He's like, Dugan, you need a back. You're back at this. The back at base. He's ASAP. Like, so I guess that's like you know, it's not 200 clicks. 200 like, meters is yeah, what he said. 200 meters away, so man. It's 200 meters away, and they're like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm pinned down, man. Like they're, 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 you know. You want me to fire. go now? Like it's still light out. Yeah, and then freaking Ch- Chicky's like smiling, She's like, like yeah, 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 now, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I want to see him. He's like, cool, cool. And he's, thinking it's just gonna, he's just gonna walk over. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, okay. Right now, that's 200 meters, and our situation's hot. Over. Right now. Well, it's still light out. Over. You know, Chicky's like. I'm going to hide here and surprise him. Yeah. You know, and they're like, cover me up with his blanket. He's like, no, no, I'm not going to do what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) And, uh, and do we see him take off running or do we just hear gunshots? We see him take off running. We see him like ducking bullets and getting shot. He's getting shot at from multiple places. Machine gun fire. And he's running Mm -hmm. for his life. Yeah. With bullets hitting everywhere around him. I wanted cheeky, cheeky. Now you got me fucking doing the cheeky thing. Chicky. I wanted Chicky to hide and then hear the gunshots and then get up and be like, the fuck? Mm-hmm. And then go look and see his friend running through gunfire mm-hmm. to get to him. Like, this was a really serious situation that you're in now. Yeah. But th- that doesn't happen. He sort of stays under the tarp. Yeah. And the guy, we see shots of the guy of uh, Dugan running mm-hmm. and he gets in there and he's like, oh. Okay, what do you want, Sarge? You know, whatever. What's so important? Yeah. Then Chicky gets up like, hey, it's me! Ta-da! <laughs> Chicky? He's like, what the fuck Party are you doing time? here? Party time! He's got beers yeah. in his hands. I brought you a beer. Yeah. He's he's like, what like, the fuck? We're in a fucking war zone, dude. What the fuck are you doing? You almost got me killed. Yeah. Yeah. And he's pissed. Yeah. He's really pissed to see him. Yeah. Not happy at all. And Chicky doesn't understand. Like, he's looking all like, what's wrong, man? I thought you'd be happy to see me, you know? It's like, why are you here? This is a real thing. And yeah, then he doesn't realize that there are there are enemy guys in the in the forest yeah. trying to kill all of mm-hmm. them. And Chicky doesn't realize it. He just sort of stumbled into the situation. And then mm. the, the sergeant, I don't know if it's a sergeant, or lieutenant, whatever, yeah. the platoon leader guy mm. is like, Wait, you know this asshole? This guy isn't a isn't a CIA agent? No, he's from the neighborhood. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking civilian. Yeah, he's, he's, a he's a civilian. my neighbor. Yeah. He's like, Are you fucking serious right now? All right, well, he's your problem. Yeah. Take him with you. Get back out to your unit. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> yeah. He puts a helmet on him and sends it back out. He's like, Chicky, we got to go. Yeah. And he's like, take this gun with you. And then uh, Donnie, he's like, we shouldn't give him a gun. So he's, he's probably able to shoot one of us with it instead. Right. What, what are you talking about? I know guns. I was in the military. Where'd you serve? Massachusetts. Yeah, give me that. Give me the gun back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me that gun back. Yeah. So they run. I like that. I yeah. like that little moment a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because it's true. Like, if you don't know how to operate a gun yeah. under, like, just normally, if you don't know, yeah. aren't, aren't super familiar with it, like, accidents, accidents can happen. Mm-hmm. But in a moment of stress, yeah. like, oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> when you're running through machine gun fire. Yeah. Yeah. But accident, bad things can happen. Yeah, he's more, accident, more likely to shoot one of us. Yeah. So, totally true. What are we doing? We're going to run for our lives. So, uh, they run back through the gunfire. Chicky's like, what the fuck? Like he started, oh shit, this is kind of real. He started to pick up, like, fuck, we're in, I'm, we're in war. We're in war. Yeah. yeah. And they get to like a foxhole halfway there, yeah. and they duck down and take cover, and they're still getting shot at. Yeah. And, and he's, he's like, like all right, we're almost there. And he's like, almost there. Yeah. He's like, he's like, dude, we'll just, we'll just stay here. We can't stay here. We can't stay here. We have yeah. to keep going. Yeah. He's like, I want to go back. I'll, I'll go back. And he's, he's like. He's like, yeah. It's not any easier to go back than it is to go forward, <laughs> yeah. man. You just got to keep going forward. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. God. So. They make one mistake here, um, and I don't know if it's how it actually happened or whatever, but when you're running 
through something like that. Mm. You want to be more spaced out. Mm. So they're in the movie. They're running not side by side, but pretty close together. He's like, follow me. All right, let's go. And, you know, they're running. So that just makes them a bigger target. Is that a mistake, though? Or is that just it's a mistake? It's just chicky. He does not know what to fucking do. Well, it, but the guy didn't correct him either. Of course he's not. He, you know, he trying to. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I suppose. He's he's trying to get back safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fuck. You better come on the fuck on. Like, hey. Yeah. You know, he's taking care of him, but he's not taking care of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's probably like, just run. Yeah. At least they won't shoot me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, part of the problem, the reason you want to the space out is, is like, um, if that if they're shooting at you, one person. Mm. And bullets are missing you. Yeah, if you're directly behind them. If you're them. Right, right there, there's, there's a chance that they're shooting at that first guy and they hit you. Yeah. Versus if you're 15 feet apart, it's a lot less likely to happen. Yeah, to get hit by a missed shot. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or a mortar or grenade or whatever. Yeah, keep your yeah. spacing. For full episodes, find us on your favorite podcast provider. Check us out on flicksworthwatching.com.